You'll excuse them if they suspend social distancing for a moment, but these folks feel a hug is in order today, more like old friends than new acquaintances. Hello. Hi. My name is Lucy. Those are just about the only words Lucy Mendoza knows in English. She and her husband Gregorio came to Washington from Peru in January to visit family and got stranded here when coronavirus hit. They were supposed to leave in March, but couldn't get a flight out until September. After a falling out with their family, they ended up camped under this gazebo in a Bothell neighborhood. No food, no money, no knowledge of English in the midst of a global health crisis. We saw the, the luggage next to them. Neighbors Ileana and John Coons heard about the situation and stepped in. First thing in my mind, I need to help them and um, we did. Yeah, they look tired. Um, they look a hungry, little afraid. Uh, yeah. Ileana translated while John called police. Snohomish County Deputy Jonathan Kreitzer tried to find the couple space at a local shelter, but they were all full. So he paid for three nights at a motel out of his own pocket. Other deputies donated groceries, quite literally buying the couple time. They weren't the type that would go out and ask for it. They were the type that they didn't want to be a bother to anybody. Um, so that kind of really touched my, my heart as well. Um, they were just two people in need, and I needed to help them. That investment paid off. Figuring the couple would need about $3,000 for food and lodging until September, the Coons started a GoFundMe page and raised all that money in less than 24 hours. We are very thankful for all the people who helped us, says Gregorio. The kindness of this Bothell community proving we really are all in this together. We are helping them. Tomorrow might be we need help and somebody can help us too. So we can, as a world, we need to kind of help each other. And remember those few words of English Lucy spoke earlier? She knows just three more. The most important of all. Ah, eso es muy importante. Al final iba a decir, I love you. So Eric tells us the couple, they're now staying at an Airbnb in Seattle and with help from the Peruvian consulate, they are hoping to catch a humanitarian flight back to their homeland by the end of the month.